Well, I've come to Jersey today to have a great time showing um, the people here what I do and getting them involved as well. So at the moment, we've got a class running behind us where I've been teaching them how to make a beautiful table out of an old soil box, which starts off kind of battered and you're wondering, you know, well, where are we going with this? And then by the end, it's going to look beautiful. They've all got different paints and things over there as well. So they're really making it their own and getting creative as well. So. I love the fact, like, I came here yesterday and I went through the warehouse here because I also made lamps this morning and showed um, the class how to, how to make the lamps and create them out of all the, kind of, the, you know, the pieces that they have here, which have obviously been um, removed from the home. They're not wanted for whatever reason. But I see the beauty in that. Do you know what I mean? I, I love crawling around a treasure trove and finding the little pieces that are right at the back, a bit like a magpie. You know, I'm like, oh, there's something over there. I want to see what that is. And pulling all the bits out and then trying to fit them together. It's like a little puzzle. It's almost like a game. And then, of course, you've got the proud moment at the end where you've actually created something useful that's beautiful and you've saved a, a piece of material going to landfill, you know. Who wants to have something that your, your mate that lives next door has got? You know, there's what I can't bear are these mass produced items which are made really cheaply and they're not made to last and they fall to bits after five minutes. Um, I mean, where's the point in that? You just that you've got something which is not fit for purpose and it's not going to last, it's just going to end up in landfill. It's just adding to the problem. Well, I think people are finally starting to realise that we've only got one planet for all these people and the population is just expanding and expanding and the planet cannot... It, we haven't got enough resources for everyone to keep just, you know, using up the resources at the, at the rate that they are. And I think also, since more people have started upcycling, there's so many beautiful pieces, you know, bespoke pieces that have been made out there that you can see what you can do with these items. Like, you know, it's about... Just, I suppose, showing people what can be done with things that other people throw away. Because until you've seen it, you don't know, do you? This trophy is for the Acorn Reuse Challenge 2018, where I will be choosing one winner from a, a person who has made something inspiring from unwanted materials that you know, they've reused to create something which is beautiful and useful. And this trophy I made out of reclaimed wood, which was salvaged um, in Brighton. And also this is a brake disc off my motorbike, which has been used a few different times, but I thought it fit really well on there. And uh, yeah, so the lucky winner will win this and they can take it home with them. I'm going to be looking for creativity, ingenuity, and just something that really catches my eye. I don't know until I see it, but I'll, yeah, I'll know when I've seen it. <laughs>